our paths crossed again in about 2007 when as shadow as as shadow spokesperson for the overseas aid program we invited him to a very moving exhibition on tuberculosis called the shack and this was being held at the international aids conference in sydney and results were sort of supporting it now if you're wondering why a tuberculosis exhibition is being held at an aids conference the fact is that tuberculosis is the leading killer of people living with AIDS. So um, six months later, results managed to get this groundbreaking exhibition into Parliament House. Thanks to Bob's support in his new role as Parliamentary Secretary for International Development Assistance. So here's, the, here's a picture of the exhibition in Parliament House. It's quite a contrast in that building, let me tell you. And together with Jubilee Australia, Results also began a challenging advocacy push to support an innovative debt to health swap between Australia and Indonesia. The champion inside the parliament for this was Bob Mullen. In his letter for tonight's event, speaking on behalf of the Lowy Institute and the Pacific Friends of the Global Fund, Bill Botel said of Bob, in the face of a great deal of inertia, Bob pressed the case for the debt to health swap and so laid the groundwork for a new direction in international development assistance. Bob was ahead of the curve on this, as in much else. Here he is speaking at the opening of the, the exhibition. What was the end result of the debt to health swap? $75 million of Indonesia's debt was cancelled on the guarantee that Indonesia invested $37.5 million for tuberculosis programs in that country through the highly effective Global Fund to fight AIDS, TB and malaria. Um, I wanted to, to just tell you about the impact of that $37.5 million of uh, tuberculosis funding. Um, in Indonesia, there are half a million new cases of TB every year. That's one new TB case every minute. $37.5 million is enough money to provide drugs to cure TB for 100,000 people. And uh, for the last three years in the parliament, I had the wonderful opportunity to be uh, the Parliamentary Secretary for International Development Assistance and to do it at a time when the government had a commitment dramatically to increase the aid program and when uh, I was given a lot of support to enable me to take initiatives that put Australia in a leadership position on some of the very important issues uh, globally, some of which Marie and Tanil have mentioned. Look. No one person can do this by themselves. If I hadn't had the support of others, both within the uh, parliament and within the within Aussie, it couldn't have been done. But I am proud of being able to do some of those things. But more recently, we've been engaged in some groundbreaking issues. I don't need to describe them because Marie spoke of them. But the debt to health swap that we did is the second one ever done in the world. Germany had done something similar. Uh, so it's not a small thing. Uh, it's not in the aid budget an enormous amount of money, but uh, it's a symbolic and substantial commitment on an issue of great importance.